uh, we'll, we'll start uh, immediately then in the land of NASCAR, where the Coca-Cola 600 was last week. And happy Memorial Day to you guys and everybody else out there. And uh, Terry, did you watch, enjoy any of the racing at the uh, Coca-Cola 600? Yeah, I did. I mean, I uh, enjoyed how Kyle Busch got a lap down and made up his lap pretty quick and run his way back to the front. You know, to finish second, uh, he probably had the best car out there if he hadn't had the little mishap at the very start of the race. But, uh, you know, a, a good race to watch. I mean, a little bit more competitive than what I thought it would be because I'm used to one guy jumping out front running away. Mm -hmm. But it was a little bit more competitive. So, I mean, you know, for a Sunday evening and NASCAR's on, a good thing to watch. It just took a while. And that's the longest race, so that's what's supposed well, to happen. That you're right about that. It might have been the longest non-rain, you know, no rain delays, and it still took six, seven hours. Yeah, like I, I know it's it started at like six, six fifteen, and it was in the eleven o'clock hour, wasn't it? When it was, yeah, it was about eleven was thirty something right so, in there. So five hours for uh, a race. Um, I don't know how you keep people watching that long. Uh, if if that's good, bad. Um, I mean, for uh, think of it though, for Memorial Weekend, <clears throat> it's a great thing. You could go out, start your <laughs> yeah, you. start your cookout around six o'clock. You out there, got the radio on, <laughs> listening to the race. Well, you and, listen to the pregame at five. Well, that's what I'm saying. Broadcast. I mean, yeah, and you could well listen to every bit of it, and then everybody. Uh, relax and go in to watch the end i mean it's all it's all good you probably eat take a nap and wake up yeah, watch the end there you go uh there there is no probably to it i i think let's see i think we uh went out to dinner and took a nap and played played, played with the game. kids yes yeah, so yeah. we did something <laughs> uh kids but the kids took two naps i think during it and then uh caught the end of it. well bell tried to catch the end of it. austin caught the end of it uh she was asleep in, in my arm but uh but i, I gave just, i gave kyle bush a lot of credit for not wrecking hamlin because he could have he could have like you know what i'm gonna take him out when i'm back up here and he didn't i mean if well, hamlin been, also had issues with logano did you see this this week terry <clears throat> yeah i mean I, I understood if it would have been a logano or a reddick or somebody like that kyle bush would have took him out and went on and won the race but his own teammate it's kind of hard to do that <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hamlin Logano uh, pit crew, uh, something about about Hamlin cutting the cutting the pit crew. Terry, you know what he's talking about? I know. No, this is what this is. This yeah. is the issue that I was talking about. Um, so a, I don't know. I didn't see it live or or know it, but we're watching this, so we'll we'll, we'll pull it up and and show parts of it. So this is part of the argument, of course. Um, you know, every weekend there's some, there's something. <laughs> I'll get it up here in a second for the folks. If you're listening on the radio, uh, folks, if you hear me struggling a second, I'm usually pulling up a highlight or something on YouTube. You can watch the show every Saturday on YouTube and the replay, uh, all the time, anytime, as always, uh, on YouTube. So this is, uh, getting in and out of the pits here. Mm. He'd look, he didn't have a broke foot. Yeah. Really, Logano. Real now, now this is the first time I've seen this. So Logano, uh, I mean, uh, Hamlin clipped him uh, a little bit. Now, a couple of things, uh, Terry. That you know, they, they they talk about like solutions and stuff. So Hamlin said, part of what Hamlin's saying, and you'll see the other tire changer how how wide they are when they mm -hmm. come when he comes in. So what Denny says, and Joey admitted to Terry that pit crews do this on purpose. That they will swing out wide to make a driver shake his wheel, do something, turn left, right, do something, and and and, and get off his line, so he doesn't. Uh, so you affect their pit stop as well. So he says that they agree that there is gamesmanship in this. Now Logano will come out and saying we shouldn't be uh, having gamesmanship with people's you know bodies and and things like that, and it's dangerous and that. And I, he more he was more or less blaming. Hamlin for the incident, but he was saying that that there's ways to fix this, but didn't from a driver's perspective and didn't know what the crew has a different perspective than the driver does on how to fix this. I don't see how the guy can get no closer than what he is. No, that's true. I mean, that's my deal. He's he's left very little space there for him to 
pull it off, get the tire off, and put another one on. He's got to leave a little space in between him and the tire. He can't get all over it. Right. So I thought I they think, need to move the line out. Well, that's one thing. You know, do you how do you do you make big, how do you make bigger picks pit stops and the lanes are smaller? Then um so Hamlin's response, Terry, or one of his responses was um that he chose that pit stall number two. So Hamlin's in pit one. So his point was that you know that we're going to be competing up front. If you think you're competing up front too, you shouldn't be pitting right next to me. Their argument is that you should have pitted one, a different stall back or something. They chose the second pit stall as opposed to, I guess that's the thing is that what they do is that, is that they try to space out. So they're not running into each other. Maybe. I don't know. I know some of them, if you win it, then you have your choice of which one you want. And other ones, I, I don't know whether if Denny was first and Logano was second, if Logano could have picked back, I think you can. Yeah, you can pick but, whatever you want yeah. after it goes. Yeah, you pick your style. And I think Hamlin was saying, you pick that spot. Yeah. You should have known that, you know, if we're basically he was saying if we're racing together, we're going to be coming in and out at the exact same times. And you should have picked a different spot. And I'm going to do to whatever front. to make it hinder you. Right. <laughs> so, you know, none of these people. So I don't tell you, here's what we don't see on our part of the video. Let's see if we see a replay of it. Uh, is when the when the pit crew came out originally, how wide were they came out? When when Hamlin got there, they were inside their box when, when he was there. But if you've seen any of the like, if if you watch any of the, he did pits, clip him. He's limping. yeah, he clipped him. Yeah. So, but if you see any other pits, Terry, and say if nobody's in front of you, they'll drive through the whole box. Yeah, they will. So, him diving in right there, Hamlin's point is we wouldn't have been there at the same time if you wouldn't have picked that pit. Blah blah blah. My only my only thing is that us watching this right now for the folks at home can see the arrow. This is right when it happens. I want to see the clip where Denny's like fifty feet back and how far out the he's talking about. They swung out of their box first and then got back in their box is what he was saying. Terry, we're only seeing them in their box right there. We're seeing them in their box, but now I have a hard time if I'm driving. Man. I mean, you got to really think, guys. If I'm driving, I understand I got to get into my pit. But I'm also thinking about the individuals on every other team. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I don't care whether you like them or not. This is a guy. This is his living, and you're getting ready to just take him completely out. You right. know, just it's, on the county, you don't know how to drive a car. Now I hate to say that and go against Danny, but come on, guys. I mean, you you are dealing with people's <laughs> lives when you decide and, to run over their foot. And, mm -hmm. and it yeah, looks I mean, like he was in his <clears throat> box. I mean, well, at the time. What, yes, what yes, I'm saying, do y'all understand what I'm yeah, saying? I, yeah, yeah, yeah you're talking about we ain't seen that previous. Let's, say, but, let's say he's 40 feet away, <clears throat> and right when he's about to pull in, he's already chose that line to cut yeah. across that And corner. my second now, question is, is this the first pit of the day? Is that, or was that a later pit? Like, well, did, 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 was no, this it, was at the end of the what, But I can't the see. The so, so there might have been multiple yeah. times they might have had swung out, and, and, and you, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's what, that, that's what both of them, like, Logano acknowledged – that it it was it was a uh, that 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 pit crews do that so that's what I, we haven't I and I can't find I haven't found the video yet of of him being further back so we see how far they came out because yeah. you got remember Terry he could have been like twenty feet away when they jumped out because they're only what they they're on the edge of the box so it could have been a matter of two seconds ago that we that's all the video we need to see if they did swing out and, and Danny's already chose that corner line. What I can show is is if Denny's already chose that line and he's going what forty miles per hour trying to stop that car right there and they did come wide, I think oh, that's what no Denny's way he, argument yeah. is. And see, he tried to cut it off for him to get into his a whole lot quicker since uh, since Logano was already there. Right. So he's not. It's not like he's coming across this way. He's no. he's diving into his pot. I think they both have. An argument, and they both should yeah. do better, and everybody should do better. I wouldn't I don't, want I don't, my foot to be out there, and a dude no. click my foot. Right. If he runs over it, he's going to break it, and I'm done for a while. I wonder why there's, <laughs> I can't find a longer shot of that pit stop. Usually, pit stops aren't hard that hard to find. But when you type in Hamlin, Hamlin and somebody, any type of argument, he's argued with everybody. It seems. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, I'm, look, Terry, let's go down the list <clears throat> it, just, just for fun. Joey Logano and Hamlin, Logano and Hamlin, Elliot and Hamlin. 
Hamlin and Logano, uh, Kyle Busch and Logano, Hamlin and uh, Hamlin drunk fight with Logano. What? <laughs> Man, he's had all kind of messes with Logano. They just don't like each other. Ha- yeah. Hamlin and Logano again. Yeah, they don't like each other. Jimmy Johnson and Kurt Busch. Which, oh, they did, I thought that was it. Uh, geez. Uh, Jeff Burton. And, yeah, Jeff, Jeff Burton, Burton. Oh, and, my gosh. No, Jeb. Oh. Burton uh, in the Xfinity and um, Noah Graxon got into it. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lot, Terry, of uh, of him. So, that, that, that's the interview. Folks want to watch the interview. I'm not going to pull up the audio. And I was trying to, like I said, we, could, we couldn't quite get that. So, anyway, uh, qual- qualifying today uh, is today. 11 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, in St. Louis, Terry. Yeah, St. So Louis. Have we, we have we ever done anything with this track? Mm, that's a good question. I do not know. I know uh, I was <coughs> watching the Xfinity in Portland, and that's ridiculous. They're gonna drive in the rain. They're gonna have the wipers on them. Yeah, yeah. You they was trying to qualify yesterday, and it's just barely raining. That's awesome. And they could not stay <laughs> on the course. They did one round and that was it. And some guy won the pole that his first one of all time that he had won. But he was like, hey, I, you got to be up front. I'm just glad we won this like this. And a lot of people were thanking him. But he was like, huh, I'm just glad I mine was early that I was out there. Because when he got to the end, A.J. Allmendinger got so mad because he was mad at how the car was running. Plus, he was mad because he couldn't control the car. Every time you went into a turn, you was just sliding across yeah. the turn you know you could not get a stalemate to, for you to kick off you know you'd almost have to stop and then go <laughs> you know and i was like i thought it was funny because i'm like y'all getting ready to drive on this because in portland it rains all the time yeah you know like like what, when would you schedule that and it's not gonna rain on them? oh yeah um all right uh so for the first time in history nascar cup uh series rolls there into the go. worldwide technology raceway at gateway God, you say all too that. many turns. Worldwide technology too raceway many turns. at Gateway. That is way too many syllables for NASCAR fans. Yeah, it's about like what they're riding in. Too many turns. St. Louis area will be. Is it? Is it a? a so is it a road? No, forward? it's a. It's a. It's an oval. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's um, not bad. <laughs> I was wondering about that for a second. Uh, this will be the first experience uh, after hosting the Xfinity Series uh, from '97 to 2010, and the Truck Series to '98. Um, teams get a a little bit more track time than usual. Uh, the teams will have a full 50 minute practice session on Friday, which was obviously last night as they get familiar with the, uh, one and a half mile flat oval Terry. So it's Mm -hmm. a, it's a giant Martinsville could be. And I know when you coming in, like you're, it's almost like Martinsville when you enter on one side and you're all of the pit stalls are all the way around the track almost. So it's it's almost like that. I'm gonna pull up the uh, uh, a, a a diagram of of the track here in just just a moment for the folks uh, at home and, and get a good get a good look at this place. Do it's not a quite a paperclip shape. It's a no, it's uh, a little bit more. How of do you how do you how do yeah. you explain that Zach shape? Mm. <laughs> It's it's a it, if you if you took it's basically a paper like clip uh, it's, ba- it's basically like elongated uh, 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 I, uh, I, capital D. I got the answer for you. A capital D that you elongate. Carabiner ring. Carabiner rings that clips your clips. That's the shape of it. You talking about the ones that's got the little? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the ones that flip like, in. Nobody knows the name of them. No. Yeah. Everybody's like, I know those what little you, yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it got the little click. It clicks in, then locks out. Yes, guys. Yeah. Uh, the, the, Care about our rings. <laughs> All right. Gateway International Speedway. Uh, it's actually in I- Illinois. Uh, for the folks who don't know, St. Louis is, is yeah. right there on the water, split actually by the river. Um, so uh, the turns one and two are smaller than turns three and four. Uh, Pit Air, of course, across the front, do have an RV. Uh, seating, it looks like in turns one and two and across the straightaway. No, I don't know about n- if nothing in three and four as far as stands. So I don't know if they tell you there's any, uh, you know, uh, camping or parking any there like out at the deserts or, or any of those other places. Uh, let's get a, a, a kind of a view <laughs> of it. 
check this out. So this will be from turn uh, one there for you folks at home. But there's your front stretch and your corner. So a big giant flat race. I guess uh, it's almost so basically a smaller, like if, if Martinsville and Pocono had a baby. Is that right, Terry? Okay. In Pocono flat. Yeah. It was like two, mm-hmm. two and a quarter mile though, isn't it? Yeah. So it's smaller and Martinsville is a quarter. I mean, so there you go. Martinsville and Pocono had a baby racetrack. We, there we go. You follow? I'm with you. <laughs> All right. Uh, set the stage. While the teams won't be splitting the groups for practice, there will be groups A and B for qualifying. Each driver will post a single timed qualifying lap. Fastest five drivers in each of the two groups will advance to the second round where the main 10 drivers will fight for the pole. Uh, so if you keep up with that. It's kind yeah, of- they, they did some testing yesterday, and Logano was the best out of everybody that had went out. Kyle Busch was like 10th. Yeah. Best. So, uh, there's a there's a view from the uh Terry of the uh truck series. So there. you can get four wide there. Really tight. But I guess you can fit them there. We'll see if somebody tries to do that. Um the the this uh it was purchased in ninety five. It consisted of an eight mile drag strip, a quarter mile track, and a two point six mile road course. Uh, then they changed it up and to where it, what it is today. Uh, the first track event was a kart race in 97, won by Paul Tracy. Uh, NASCAR's first for facility was the Xfinity Series in 97, won by Elliot Sadler. Uh, Denver Motorsports purchased the track in 98. Uh, so there's some other stuff about that. Uh, so, you know, are we... new new track, Terry, is, is Logano one of the favorites then? He oh, yeah. seems to do well every time they, we go somewhere new. Yeah, him, and uh, you always have to throw Larson in there. Well, but, that uh, too. Yeah, but uh, as far as everybody else, I mean, you know, a new track, new everything. Zach, I, I mean, what do you expect? You could expect anything, a new winner Yeah. again? <laughs> yep, I agree. Like we've been having? Every every <laughs> week. Um, but yeah. Denny Hamlin did win last week. That was his second win of the year. Well, um, yeah, at, the, at a new track like that, I don't expect like a, like some random winner, honestly. Uh, Kyle Larson probably would be my favorite. All right, we got to go. Uh, if we come back, JP, we got to talk NBA Finals. Terry Celtics are in the finals up 1-0 on the Golden State Warriors. We'll be back in just a minute. KTCBroadcasting.com. Family owned and operated, proudly serving Shelby and the surrounding area with the finest in heating and cooling for your home or business. We're talking about Shelby Heating and Air. And right now, they have an exclusive spring special on Carrier, Goodman, and Mitsubishi systems. Get exclusive Shelby Heated and Air discounts of up to $750. Yes, discounts on quality heating and cooling systems of up to $750. Online at shelbyheating.com. See their page at whatsappshopper.com and like them on Facebook, too. 